So if you're wanting to know how to track conversions with Google Analytics 4, it's actually a pretty straightforward process. Once you have your Google Analytics 4 account set up, um, you can just click on this admin panel right here and then make sure you're in the properties and go to events. Once you're in events, you can click create event and then you'll need to click it again. <laughs> you'll need to give it a name. And so the best thing I've found is generate lead here. That's essentially what this is designed for. And then event name equals, and then for the value, we need to assign an event value, which is going to be page view. So essentially that means when somebody goes to this page location, so we're going to add a parameter. I just added a condition here when this page equals and then we'll give it a say it's example.com forward slash thank you so that's the thank you page that people go to after they become a lead right whatever it is for your business you can just put the URL in and then the URL that people go to when they become a conversion so this is typically going to be for somebody who like submits a lead form on your website or something of that nature, or it could be completing a purchase. Um, so you could put like contains, and then maybe uh, you have like confirmation, and then there's like some random number associated. So if you leave off the random number and just put confirmation, basically it's gonna see that they got to the confirmation page where they made the purchase. So there's different ways you can do this, but we'll just do it the basic, most simple way. Um, so if you're trying to track lead conversions when somebody submits a form, you basically just set it up just like this. And then we're going to add in um, a, a modification here, a parameter. And we're going to do currency. And then we can give this conversion a value. So let's say it's worth, I don't know, $100. It's going to vary for each person, but you can do the math depending on what your conversion rate is and see what the value of each of your leads is going to be. And then we'll also need to add in the currency so that it knows, or excuse me, we did this backwards. This is value. This is currency. So we need, it needs to know what currency we're in, right? Whether it's USD or some other currency and then the value. You don't have to add these, these are optional. I just like to add these so that we kind of know what the value of a conversion is. And then all we do is click create, and then that's gonna create the actual conversion event here. However, that's not gonna allow us to actually track conversions yet. We'll need to come over here still to conversions, and then we'll need to click add new conversion event. And then we'll just add in the name that we just, the, the event name that we just created, which is generate underscore lead, and click save. Make sure this is marked as on. And then when somebody goes to that page, it's going to mark it as a conversion. And then we're going to be able to go into our data, into our reports, and see did that conversion come from organic? Was it from Facebook? How did that person get to our website and become a lead of ours? And that's really the goal here for most people is to figure out where their leads are coming from so that they can get more of them, right? And even figure out what their return on investment is for their marketing. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Analytics for conversion tracking or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the 
years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.